One of the saddest, hardest things when you have little babies and little kids is when they're feeling sick. And this little girl will not sleep. We've tried to put her down several times. We've tried all the go-tos. We nursed her again. Then we tried feeding her. We changed her diaper. We cuddled her and rocked her for eons of time. We've come to the conclusion that she's congested. And so we have to use the bulb syringe. This evil Knievel. See her little eyes? Yeah, the eyes. she looks so tired? Mm. But she's still so cute. All right, so Laura was a trooper for the face sucking treatment. We decided that we're also going to fill up the humidifier and uh, put that in her room to help with the breeding. We hope this helps. By the way, Laura sleeps in our closet. Have we ever mentioned that? So this is our walk-in closet, and this is Laura's shelves, and back here is Laura's bed. There's a vent in here. Most people do the whole, like, baby room thing. Nursery decorate thing. <laughs> we thought it was more convenient for her to be close to us, but still in her own room, and not be too close to the other kids to either be woken up by Caleb or to wake up the other kids. We live in a three-bedroom house, which is awesome, and we really like that our kids share rooms, but it's a little bit hard when they're little and they're taking lots of naps to keep the kids out of the rooms, and so it's actually really nice. Like, she's just off of our room in her ensuite nursery. So we had a long night last night. Anyway, she actually ended up throwing up and she had a fever and you should see these boogers. So I couldn't get her to go to sleep and so I held her while she slept until like 3.30 and at 3.30 I was like, Jeremy. It's your turn. It's your turn. And he's like, I'm gonna try putting her to bed. He lays her down, she immediately goes to sleep and then she slept for the rest of the night. My shift was pretty rough. <laughs> anyway, so. Will you clap in those hands? Say yay, Dad. <laughs> We were all excited about this Monday. You know, you get all motivated. Let's start fresh. We're gonna get into some good routines. I'm gonna get off to work super early. But then when you're up through most of the night, it, it's tough, so. One of the hard parts is that then after being totally sleep deprived, you still have to like function as a mother or a lawyer all day long. Yay. Elise, can you put that away? The long, the long stare down. Oh, she blinked. So I'm wishing that I could blow dry my hair, and I'm trying to get sick baby Laura to bed, and look what I come out to see. What you doing, Cub? Wait, what are you doing? I'm getting them all of them off. Caleb, we're supposed to leave them on. No, but you stop, 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 stop. Update. Thankfully, Laura has been napping. I'm so glad she definitely needed the rest. We read some Christmas books and um, Caleb undecorated the tree again and here's Isaac redecorating the tree for me. All right, bud, what you doing? I'm playing football outside. You headed outside to play? Mm -hmm. So uh, why'd you tuck your pants into your socks? Well, so my, so my pants won't like go crazy, so I have to like, Pull them down. Oh, to keep them from like going crazy? That's a good idea. Cool. And I tucked my shirt just like football quarterbacks. Are you gonna go outside too? Uh huh. Go and today is my ballet. Song. Today is my ballet class and I'm not going to ballet. And it's canceled because I'm going somewhere fun. Caleb comes back. All right, bud, you've sung to the trains, you've told them a story, you've put them in their beds. It's time to go now, okay? No, the trains are going to cry. Sometimes trains have to cry, but we have to go. No, they are going to cry. Whiskey, booga. A bunch of friends of ours put together this uh, live nativity that we're going to. You guys excited to check it out? Uh -huh. All right, we want to go get a good seat, so we got to go. She brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger.
All right, Isaac, what was your favorite part of the nativity? Mm -hmm. I think it was when the wise men came and the shepherds. And my favorite part was um, baby Jesus. You liked baby Jesus? How about you, Elise, favorite part? Mary and Joseph, because Joseph was the person that I knew. Does he babysit us? Yeah. Uh -huh. So we were driving home and on the radio was the song Feliz Navidad. And last year for Christmas, Elise always thought that it was a song about her. Elise Navidad. Anyway, she loved that.